my crafty friends. Happy Thanksgiving. It's Sharon here. And of course, it is time for Black Friday. Scrappy Tales is having 20% off and the code is STC Friday 20. It is good until November 26. And I thought you'd like some inspiration before you went shopping. If you've already seen this, I do apologize, but hopefully it does help. I'm having some technical difficulties, but I'm trying to update this video. I'll have the links in my drop down box. And I just, if you're like me, I need to see things to know what I'm buying. And it's hard to go back through a ton of videos to try and find things, but these Blue Jays I'm going to be using for my Christmas cards this year um, and this one here this is awesome for an A7 card plus it has lots of extra pieces most recently you've been seeing the butterflies and uh, this A7 intricate oval is such a great stash builder there's just so many things here it's so hard to tell you everything but I just thought at the very least if you wanted to see them um, it would give you some help and then I've tacked this on to a, a video I previously made I'm in the works of trying to update my favorite products from Scrappy Tales here we go I couldn't fit everything on from the most current releases, but I thought these might help a little bit because of course these are my favorites. And just ignore at the end when I wish you Happy New Year's. And I talk about it being almost Mother's Day. Of course, we know that's been and gone. But the biggest deal that you can get though is load up on your embellishments. In my last video, I showed you that these fill those little rhinestone containers with almost as much left over to refill them again a second time. And of course, my journey started with the assorted leaves die set so of course I had to start this off here too there's one die set you have to have in your, your collection it is this one the dies that are included in this set will just make your crafting so much easier there is always an opportunity where any of these dies can be used to make your work better and I swear by them I still use them in so many of my cards today these are great dies and uh, I'm happy to see I'm going to be another year with Scrappy Tails. I love this company. Sabrina is a fantastic boss and such a creative owner and uh, really she's amazing and I wanted to say you guys are amazing too. Thank you so much for supporting me and using my affiliate links and uh, hopefully you're crafting along and enjoying these products too. Now we all know that Jennifer McGuire has an affinity for Scrappy Tails and especially this set here. She was really smitten with the baby's breath, and I love it too. You can cut the little flowers apart and add them to anything that you've got, but this is such a unique die set, and she really saw its value, and this is what the set looks like that I'm recommending you add to your collection. Now, I'm gonna show you lots of different sets here. This is not the only one, but I'm gonna go through the ones that I find most valuable and most versatile. When I'm shopping for dies, I have such a hard time deciding what's gonna work for my collection, what I really need, and what's going to get me the most versatility and longevity. And the leaf assortments are fantastic sets to have. This is the Tropical Leaf Assortment, and all of these dies are bigger than your normal dies. These are five by seven cards that I make, and you can see how much real estate even the small leaves will take up, and how much versatility that they have. Any of these cards could be done as thank you cards, birthday cards, masculine cards. They run the gambit of what's gonna work. But of course, you know that uh, I have a thing when it comes to sympathy cards, and that's kind of what I'm known for. And leaves will have you covered. Regardless of the company that your leaves come from, they're always something that are gonna be advantageous in card making. But one of the things that I like the most about Sabrina's designs is that she gives you lots of variety and puts a lot of consideration into the dies that she develops because she's a card maker herself. She knows that options in a die set makes the job a lot easier when you're trying to put a card together. The die set I didn't get a chance to work with is the Fall Assorted Leaf Set, and this would be absolutely fabulous for masculine cards, but one of the ones that I do have samples for is the Assorted Christmas Leaves, and I use this set like crazy. It makes absolutely stunning cards, and not just for Christmas either. A lot of the dies in this set can be used for many more things, in this card, I turned the leaves into peacock feathers. Now, naturally, they're a great foundation for any of your Christmas cards, and whether you die cut something out of white or whether you go with some of the traditional colors of green, if you wanna cut them up into smaller pieces or splash them out from underneath of something, the options are only limited to your imagination creativity. Here's some of those leaves done up as lavender in a cute little bunch, and then as a Halloween card. 
And those shoes there are also leaves from the set. And whether they're doing support work for a Christmas scene or just a garden scene, they're always useful. Now trees are the other thing that I find enormously useful and this is a set that I absolutely love as well. It finds its way into so many of my cards as a foundation where you could put a house or a snowman. Anything that you want in a wintry scene, whether you're using both the trees as they're made in the cover plate or just one of the trees so that you can get twice the cards. I've also used the trunk that I've cut out of the middle in this beautiful arrangement of poinsettias. One of my favorite cards though is the sympathy card for pet loss and then this is one of my franking cards. It also sneaks itself in in browns as well anytime I need a tree whether it's got some flowers on it or if it's just meant to look a little spooky or wintry whatever it is that I need or even springy. <laughs> It's a great card to have. And let's not forget, a black cut certainly works for Halloween. Now, another type of tree set that I like is the winter snow trees. Versatile for any time of year, the winter snow trees get the job done, whether you're laying wiring over green or over your metallics. And anytime you reverse these, you can use them for double the workload. And whether you cut them in white and just do white on white, or do two, two different types of green for a green on green tree. They're absolutely fantastic. Now you did see there the garden gate in that last photo, and this is another die that whether you cut a little piece off for a fence, it's just a fantastic die to have. This adorable little tree I fell in love with as well, and I have every intention of using it more often in the new year. It's just an absolute sweetie pie and can be done up so many different ways, not just with the lemons that come with it for the tree. One of the other cover plates that I really, really enjoyed was the Ivy Branch cover plate. I found that this had a lot of versatility as well. The color that you cut your die from and how you assemble it together can make all the difference in the message that the die sends. This one is just a gorgeous frame for so many different things, even an underwater scene. Can you see the leaves coming up from the bottom? And don't forget Halloween, <laughs> what a great Halloween card. Butterflies, who doesn't need butterflies in their die set? I love these ones because they cut both the solid and a beautifully detailed overlay, making for an amazing opportunity for making butterflies, especially when you're using pattern paper. Does not do all the work for you? And again, of course, sympathy cards, who couldn't use butterflies? But if you want something fun, this is one of the open butterflies rising from a pile of flowers that came from the A7 flower cover plate die. It has gorgeous flowers that you can cut all by themselves, giving you a handful at a time. And if you cut the vines apart, you can make these beautiful accent pieces that I added to these dresses. I also think that they would make great ropes for swings for any of your characters that might be flying through the air. Whatever your imagination can come up with, these will do it. That friend die also comes with the set and it comes with thank you friend. Now this came in the same release, the rain boots and the pots with all these gorgeous florals that layer together and do the work for you. I loved these and found them so versatile. It was one of the releases that I decided to do the entire set of samples so that everyone can see how many things you can make from this set. It's absolutely fabulous. You can see from this pile of cards here, I was very busy with that set and thoroughly enjoying myself. One of the things that also came out with this release was the A7 pop-up storefront. And although I didn't make cards with the pop-up store itself, the accompanying pieces for the coffee shop, as well as the floral shop, made excellent cards and can be used as support pieces for any of your scenes with any of your little critters and friends. Now flowers, very, very important to have in your arsenal. And most of us have daisies, the whimsical layering daisies I found fabulous because they didn't have the uniformity that I saw in traditional daisies like the punches and things like that that we may have had or um, the flowers of yesteryear, I guess I could say. These ones really had an organic feel to them. And Sabrina included so many different styles, sizes, and uh, angles of these flowers that there was so much you could do. And of course, everyone always tries the quintessential side view of these flowers. And uh, Sabrina made this so that you could do exactly that. Now, when she released this next set, 
which is the layering sunflower metal dyes. And uh, keep an eye on that harvest wheat. I'm gonna be using that coming up. But these layering sunflowers, if you add them together with your whimsical layering daisies, look at these cool flowers you get. Whether you wanna call them dahlias or chrysanthemums, adding these two sets together give you such an opportunity to make so many more flowers than you'd ever even imagine. And these things are great to put on everything. Three flowers on a five by seven card with a few extra doodads and the work is done for you. A great set to have. I do have to say I absolutely love these outline rose dies and maybe people don't wanna understand how many cards I actually did with this die set. It is another fabulous one. It comes with the rose stems with the leaves on the side and so many different views of these layering roses that you can get a card filled lickety split and have something sumptuous and substantial that gets the message across and gets a wow from your audience. And of course, there's my assorted leaves again. <laughs> Lots of different styles you could do though. Celebrate, sympathy, thinking of you, get well. Anything you can imagine. And this has a rosebud. Where have you ever seen a rosebud? Rainbow cards. And don't forget that big pop-up box that Sabrina does too. And with Mother's Day coming, how about those circle dies? Circle sentiment dies for Mother's Day. Okay, also honorable mention, layering poinsettias. These are gorgeous to put on cards too and make cards fast and easy. Plus, I love that little leaf that comes with it. You don't have to use the layering portion, but if you do, doing it in the metals makes it absolutely stunning. Love these cards. Love the flowers on them. Now, this year was the big bird year, and with the flamingo dies, I went crazy making cards. This is such a cool, cool die to have. It's a good sized bird, and uh, of course, on a five by seven card, you can see one bird takes up lots of space, two birds takes up most of the space. So you can really make a gorgeous card. And even if you're making note card size, these ones are really going to stand out. Now, the cockatoo, it's a layering cockatoo die. You can do it in gray, pink, whatever you want. But as I've been looking at the layering parrots, layering cockatoo, well, any of the layering bird die sets anyways, don't you think they would make great masculine cards? Oh, that's a background die too. I'll list it as well. You can see how... Changing the paper out with these birds and these dyes makes all the difference and you can make them in so many different colors. Plus now we've got the layering cardinals die set that just came out. Those are great for year round and great for masculine cards. So many different ideas running through my head. But of course you knew this year I had to give my special people something amazing for Christmas. Also, what came out this year was the animals. We don't get enough animal dyes and the corgi, the kitties, the bunny rabbits. Oh, wow. They just had my heart. And if you want to do pet bereavement cards, sympathy cards, even birthday cards, something fun like Easter cards, this die set's going to give you lots of different opportunities, gives you some of the extras. <laughs> but one of the ones that I really fell in love with was the barnyard die set. This is a fantastic die set too if you've got little people in your life because what kid doesn't love animals? Now, the deer, which is uh, the winter essentials die set, comes with snowflakes and beautiful sentiments. These are absolutely what you need to add to your stash. You can cut the antlers off and just have a sassy female deer that would be excellent added to something enchanted. And this is enchanted. These are Halloween dies. Would you have guessed? <laughs> Look at that castle and those gates. Get rid of the ghosts, get rid of the skull, and these can be used for just about anything. So versatile. Now, another favorite of mine that I had to give honorable mention to is our Nutcracker. Oh my gosh, this is such an amazing die set. I'm so sorry I didn't use it this year, but it's so hard when so many great things come out. <laughs> Anyways, that is just the one layer die cut. And I caught a glimpse of Cecilia's card on Vanani Creates. I'll link it below. Amazing. This Christmas tree takes up a full card, five by seven card. You can put it on a note card. It's going to take the whole thing. But if you just want to get all the work done for your Christmas cards, absolutely fabulous die set to have. If you want something a little bit smaller, though, this gives you the church, the wreath, the lamp, and the Christmas tree 
all beautiful together and you can see how beautifully that adorns cards and especially in a rainbow but our newest release i just couldn't pick which ones to tell you to look at the lantern the pop-up church the beautiful birds the festive lantern the carolers Ugh, it's wow just go check it out enjoy the sale and hopefully you have a wonderful and happy new year bye